Hi, welcome back. Today I want to do a video. I just want to take a look at the new GIMP 3.0. It is in Release Candidate 2 here on my KDE Plasma install on Arch Linux. But let's go here. I do have this installed as a flat pack for anybody curious. Plus, this is something I've been working on. I like this little screen it shows my previously done stuff this is something i've been working on because i'm thinking of rebranding the youtube channel uh so i downloaded a template it's a photoshop template i resaved it as a gimp document i did download valve's uh <laughs> doc their uh image resources for the whole Steam OS and the whole Steam marketing thing that they have. And I did what I needed to do to open the Adobe file inside of Inkscape so I could get this into GIMP. And if I actually click here, you'll see this is on its own layer. And stuff that I do like, if I go here... That's actually the Steam logo, as you can see. But if you look at it, I can zoom in a little. There's a drop shadow. I can click this FX right next to it. And I can shut off the uh, layer effects. And I can bring it back up. And actually, I can alter it more. You know, after the fact, I can actually change the stuff. So that is nice. And I can hit OK. And again, still bring it back up, get rid of it. Now, I did customize my layout some. Now, something I did find, and this may have been supported under uh, a previous version of GIMP. But if I turn this on. Okay, this has been converted to just a raster layer, pretty much, okay? So, if I wanted to change this text, text, I went to my text tool and selected it, and it actually does this. I can either edit the text or create a new layer. And then I have a whole new layer that I can go through and delete stuff, okay? That is something I like, and it retains the font. That was something that really got me, was that it retained the font. Um, you know, that's kind of other stuff I've done. Let's shut that off. I did, let's see. Okay, so this layer, this text layer here, is actually white. So if I shut that off, you can see that it is a white layer. And I did a layer underneath it, just these colors, you know, kind of blending in with the blue in here. But this is stuff I'm working on. I want to rebrand the channel. So this is just something I've been working on that I've honestly just, I want to change the channel to essentially still Linux and open source software type stuff for content creators and showing content creation under Linux and tech and gaming. Gaming is something I've already started uh, here in a few months, some of the tech stuff will actually start also with the uh, inevitable release of SteamOS because it's going to come out just before the before the uh, Lenovo Legion Go S, I guess, that is going to run SteamOS. The, the black version is going to run SteamOS and the white one is going to run Windows. But... I want to test 
some gaming benchmarks on SteamOS, but installed on an actual computer. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to build another computer. It's going to essentially be a home theater PC hooked up to a 55-inch 4K HDR TV. I'm going to move my current video card into it, the RX 7900 GRE. But I'm going to be purchasing, unfortunately, the NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti because I want 16 gig of RAM. I just want to get full functionality inside of DaVinci Resolve while the GPU decoding and encoding support. I have fixed my issues regarding DaVinci Resolve on the AMD GPU because I do record at kind of obnoxiously high bit rates. But I want to capture an AV1 and deliver everything in AV1 and editing AV1 with the AMD GPU under Linux's. It works, it's just not the best performance in DaVinci Resolve without having GPU decoding. But with this version of GIMP, it is something I wanna do. You know, sorry for my little rant there. I just wanna explain what my whole plan is with this uh, channel going forward. Um, I am going to do some tutorials on easy to use Linux distributions for people that want to get into gaming and content creation on Linux. So unfortunately in those videos, I may not be doing arch based videos, but it'll be easier to use distributions. But they're probably, I will probably do some Arch videos for the technical people out there that do want it. But so far, this release candidate of GIMP is really good. I actually was manually installing the Affinity Photo Publisher and Affinity Design inside of Linux which I will still do because I don't feel we truly have a, a good publishing program under Linux. I know Scribus is good. It does work. But Affinity F Publisher, unfortunately, is better because uh, I do do book and I do do interior layout and typesetting for authors on the side. So. I do have to retain that software, but you know, there is a lot of uh, good things going on in Linux. And I honestly do believe that Linux is going to really continue to grow this year. So hopefully stay tuned for that and we'll see how that goes. Cause I'm going to start covering how Linux and steam OS uh, continue to move forward the Linux community. If anybody has ideas on uh, on this little banner, uh, let me know. Uh, I definitely want to make this look as good as I can. Right now it's kind of basic. You know, I was kind of going for more of a flat design <laughs> from when I was doing a uh, web development there years ago. <laughs> but uh, let's see, you know, uh, if anyone wants a really in-depth tutorial on GIMP, let me know in the comments. I can certainly do that. Um, probably going to be cutting out the photography stuff unless it pertains to doing content creation um, because I honestly really don't go out and do photography because... Honestly, too many bad experiences of people not following... Up, following up and showing up to photo shoots so it's part of the main reason I kind of got out of it but you know let me know uh, what kind of creative content do you want to see other than the gaming and the eventual tech I am going to be doing a basic video editing video for DaVinci Resolve soon so look forward to that but like subscribe comment below and share the video, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Thank you. Later.